Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Adobe Live. Last stream of the week, well, Aww. for Adobe Live, last stream of the day. Joining me is Michael yep. Crabtree. How are you? Doing pretty well. Nice. A little tired, but it's all tired. good. Yeah, I heard you had some trouble with your window in your hotel. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was loud, kind of keeping me up a little bit. Oh, well, it happens. Yeah. My name is Howard Pinsky, Senior XD Evangelist at Adobe. And if you're joining us live on Behance, let us know who you are, introduce yourself, tell us where you're streaming from. We're in lovely, not so lovely, rainy San Francisco <laughs> this week. Well, th this morning is lovely. I this mean, morning wasn't too bad. It, it hasn't rained for a little bit. Yeah. So let's hope it keeps up not raining. <laughs> yeah, but a big hello to Munir, Daniel. Buddha Val is in the house. Woo! And the amazing Gus Bot is here. Val and Gus Bot, great moderators, great people. Paco is in the house, Vladair, a lot of awesome people. So, before we get into it, in about half an hour, we're gonna have chat and win. There are gonna be fireworks behind us, and one of you will be able to win the 100 stickers from Sticker Mule, which is awesome. awesome yeah. I, I need some stickers, you need some stickers. Like 100, that is a huge amount of stickers. That's a lot of stickers. I would try to put all of them on. I would too, but yeah. like, I don't think this texture allows me to stick things on it, sadly. Well, you can try. I can try. I will try, Cats actually. in the house, Lindsay, Kiran, Agnes. So, Agnes, hold on. Hold, I have to show you something that's gonna blow your mind. Where's my Twitter? Let me hop over to my screen for just a second before we really get going with some of this stuff. So here's my Twitter. I'm not just <coughs> plugging my Twitter. Are you sure? Maybe. But <laughs> a little bit. Agnes put together, so we recently had the Adobe XD Dribble Playoff. And Agnes is probably sitting there thinking, don't do this, don't do this to me, don't do this to me. But she put together this incredible animation Ooh. using auto animate. Whoa, that's with auto animate? This is with auto animate, oh five goodness. artboards. F only five? Only five that artboards. That's awesome, wow. Because what she did, she kind of explained how this worked on Twitter and she posted a few pictures. So follow Agnes as well, her, her Twitter handle is here. Um, she basically imported Illustrator files. These are all vector drawings oh. created in Illustrator. She imported them into Adobe XD into separate artboards. <laughs> Val's freaking out. <laughs> and she used the rename it plugin to basically rename thousands of paths very quickly. Whoa. Um, and making sure that the paths line up on each <laughs> artboard, right? And they would have the same name. And all you do is just like drag a handle from each artboard to artboard. And this. That is insane. I saw this. I was wow, like, I, "What is happening?" I really right want now? to try something like that. Right? Now. That's that's really cool. <laughs> Agnes, Smart yeah, way to do it. Yeah, this is incredible, <clears throat> absolutely incredible. We've got some really cool entries in the dribble playoff, but this one, because of how detailed these paths are, and simply, honestly, because XD is able to handle something like this, thousands of paths, yeah, and, that's awesome. and this, this, anyways. So I, thought, I just thought that was cool. I had to throw that in there. Um, yeah, chat and wins coming up. And about half an hour before the stream ends, we are going to do portfolio review. So make sure to hit that portfolio review tab I'm excited at the to top. See those That's going to be fun. We're going to yeah. go to space, put space helmets on, and all I'm that fun stuff. Space. Yeah. I'm excited. And then what else do we have? I think that's. I think that's it. Yeah. So that's that's a lot, and it's, it's going to be fun. It will be fun. So. Very quickly, let's hop over to you and introduce yourself very quickly right. and kind of recap what you did on day one, day two, and what we're going to be doing, what you're going to be doing today. <laughs> I'm doing nothing. I'm just here. You're just here to watch. I'm just here. Uh, so uh, if you weren't here for day one or two, I, I explain a bit more in depth about who I am and what I do and things. Uh, I'm just going to like run through this like quick animation that I made uh, of myself uh, using Adobe XD, auto animate. Um, so yeah, we got like about me, I'm a design freelancer, social media, and social media manager for Honduras Ministries. Um, I graduated uh, Johnson County Community College with a degree in graphic design. Uh, let's see, I, I'm jack of all trades kind of designer. I can like kind of design uh, virtually anything. Like once you learn the principles of design, you can kind of apply those to a variety of skills and, and other types of uh, uh, professions and things like that. So. Uh, that's where I'm coming from. Uh, got, I love learning new keyboard shortcuts. Uh, huge fan of Marvel movies, uh, and for various reasons. Okay, so uh, we are working on a Food Finder app, which, mm. um, thanks to the the magic uh, of Gusbot 5000, we, he he sent me the um, the transcript of, of like your 
the chat oh, for nice. the past couple of days, nice. so I could like kind of read over what you guys were suggesting and uh, a bunch of your name ideas, which were really creative. And so I kind of narrowed it down to a few that I really like, hmm. and we can decide on which one to go with. Uh, so this is, helps you to find places to eat, uh, helps you to figure out where to eat, allows you to customize and set your favorite places and determine uh, a place to eat at based on various factors and, and things like that. It helps you to navigate to that place once you decide on a place to go. And I, I'm almost sure we will be able to, but I'm really hoping to get to being able to control it with a, with a voice as well. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm Chris Cannon's forward. in the house asking where my turtleneck is. I don't know. I don't, I don't get it, Chris. <laughs> I guess I should wear a turtleneck from now on. You should. That'll be my thing. <laughs> I got like the, the collar up kind of thing. Right. Uh, <laughs> So uh, user base would be like a group of friends or like a couple who like who don't know where they want to eat. You know, they can't decide. This will help them to to find a place. Uh, people who like to discover new places to eat at. Uh, if you like go to a bunch of different places and you want to discover something new, this is the way to do it. And of course, uh, tourists and people who aren't from around the city that don't know the way around, mm. this can help them out. Totally. Especially if you come to a place like San Francisco, yeah, there are so many restaurants oh on goodness. every single block. Yeah. And you just can't. And, and there's so many different, like, if you want Thai food, there's 17 re Thai restaurants on one on street. Like one street, it's like, yeah. How do you choose? So yeah. an app like this would be kind of cool. Right. You can't see or do it all in a week. Yeah, and Al so Alex is saying, let's find a nice restaurant for a Valentine's Day dinner date. Oh. Ooh, you can maybe theme today's interaction for Valentine's Day. Yeah, we'll see what we can do with that. Yeah. Um, so uh, we're on day three today, uh, which is prototyping with auto animate. I'm, mm. I'm excited for that. Me too. And also finishing up high fidelity screens. So like continuing and finishing up applying the uh, design guidelines uh, to make it look, uh, you know, good, designed, and consistent. So uh, that that's the plan for today. Uh, I have like a few like mood board images to help that helped inspire me on on the app like various features like layout here uh, Spinning wheel how to handle like buttons that show up after it decides on an option uh, Even like uh, here. We have like a nav icon idea that I that I saw I was inspired by like outlines and then uh, The filled shape indicates the one that the section of the app you're currently on. I thought that was kind of smart and uh, here are some more images for inspiration. We have like thumbnails for like maps of like maybe popular places nearby that you could like quickly get to mm -hmm. uh, without having to look through the map itself. Completely unrelated. I love the 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 trend of having like colored shadows in the background. Yeah, actually, very, it, I, I like it too. It's nice and soft. It's not too harsh. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't. Uh, I don't think it would it would fit well with my with the design aesthetic I'm going. It wouldn't, with. but. But and it, right. it's more for like mock-up and presentation purposes, but it's it's really it's, cool. It's a really cool like idea. It. Yeah, I yeah. like it. Uh, so uh, yeah, here's some uh, inspiration, and and then I can show you where we're at in terms of the actual app itself. Oh boy! So we've made a fair amount of changes, and I've included a bunch of um, of uh, secondary screens, like the next step in progression of how you would navigate yeah. through various while parts of the app and things. While you're showing this off, um, do you mind turning off the grid? Because it's yeah. um, it's probably a little just right. I thought for a second it was um, like all transparent. It's throwing me off. <laughs> all right, so uh, in case you don't know, by the way, uh, how to quickly uh, not see the grid, you can quickly just switch to the prototype tab up here and the grid will disappear temporarily. Yeah. So that's a little tip. Uh, okay, so I've kind of uh, kind of worked on a like a splash screen idea for uh, for the app. Uh, once we decide on an app name, we can include the app name here. We may not have time to incorporate an actual logo for it unless uh, one of you guys in the chat are, are really quick and and have an awesome idea. That'd be that'd be awesome. But uh, we may just put in the name. Uh, so welcome to whatever we decide to name it. Let's dig in. Nice. And then you can start by uh, selecting your favorite foods. And once you hit the checkbox here, it would take you to uh, like this screen, which you can uh, select a favorite food uh, up to two, like maybe like you want to see like a fusion restaurant or something. Yeah. Uh, so you can select up to two places or two of your favorite types of foods and it would take you to uh, some results based on that. And I love those buttons. Yeah. Yeah. I was kind of... I was, I'm really feeling that this kind of style. I like it. I like it's, it. it's working. It's I, different. I think if anyone's just joining us, talk a little bit about these buttons for a second. 
Uh, so yeah, the, these buttons, um, I, I wanted to do something different instead of just like a regular like uh, shape, you know, just like filled in and everything. Uh, I can show you real quick some like ideas that I was like going through. This is like, a, I'm opening the food find like guidelines that I've, I'm kind of working on, the mm -hmm. design spec. Uh, so yeah, I was working on like like different ideas for like how I want the buttons to look. So I, um, I, I noticed like uh, a couple images online uh, kind of inspired me. I'm like, hey, maybe it'd be kind of cool if I tried like something different, like something like something like this. I kind of like what they're doing. Uh, I want to try to do something similar to that. So I was just kind of feeling inspired to, to try something like this with yeah. the, uh, a little white border on top and everything, kind of the color uh, kind of overflowing out of the bottom and things like that. So yeah, I was just kind of having fun with that. And these round corners uh, aren't, uh, we asked yesterday what they prefer would be either like totally rounded corners, uh, totally straight edges, or like slightly rounded corners. Mm -hmm. And uh, most people said, you know, the subtle roundedness. And so that's what we went with. I wanted the rounded ones, but. Oh, really? You know. <laughs> the people have spoken. We'll, we'll, make, we'll please you real quick. <laughs> Oops. Boop. Yes. But, <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> but did you notice how they all change because they're symbols? Yeah, right. Yeah, they're that's symbols. Fancy. So it's pretty cool. Let's do it just real quick, just so you can kind of see what that would look like. Look, now they're all rounded. rounded. I do like that too, actually. Yeah. Of course, these would need to be changed yeah. too. But yeah, go back. But yeah, it's fine. Yeah. So uh, yeah, today we can finish um, uh, finish up the design aspect and also uh, prototype them. Nice. So this is going to be fun. Let's have some fun. Oh, also. I've made some, uh, I've incorporated the, oh boy, the navigation here? icons here. Uh, so Ooh, cool. this is kind of the idea I, I had for navigation, like these, uh, you know, the outline style, and then like whatever section you're on, you'd have a uh, filled mm. in uh, shape. Okay. And, and you've added like images and flags and stuff. Yeah, to, yeah, this yeah. This is interesting. So okay. Yesterday we just had flat colors. I wanted to, I, I didn't feel like that said the type of place well enough. So yeah. I wanted, I thought like maybe flags uh, and like the type of food or something could indicate it better. So like for pizza, we have like a slice of pizza and to to make uh, Val <laughs> mad, I added pineapple pizza option here. Uh, but this would be like a uh, random. So this is like as if we were spinning like this random wheel here. Yeah. So you would like take this tab and start spinning it and it would automatically go to this screen and pick like a random set of like eight places to choose from or eight types of food. Mm -hmm. And once it lands on one, like pizza, it would say you've spun and it gives you like a, a restaurant based on uh, that type of food. So CC's Pizza, for example, here's the address, here are the directions. So you can tap this to know how to get there, check out their website, or you can have a new result. So a different pizza place. Or if you wanna like have a different result, not pizza, just hit this like restart button right here and then it will uh, give you a new result. Cool. So yeah. Looks delicious. <laughs> so are we ready to Go for get it, into it's it? all you. Let's so do it. What, what, in terms of designing, before we get into the actual prototyping, what, mm -hmm. what changes do you wanna make and what are you tackling today? Uh, so I'm gonna try uh, first off to like um, include some actual food icons in, in here, uh, like to represent each uh, type of, of food and then, yeah, so you'd have like, you know, uh, maybe a taco or something for Mexican, hamburger for American, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, so iconography and also, you know, getting it all linked up and working and uh, determining, determining uh, like an app name as well. So. Cool. Uh, speaking now you of said which, you had, um, yeah, I think you're just about to t tackle what I was going to talk about the, go the, for it the name the name go for yep. it all right so <laughs> uh thanks to the magic of gusbot 5000 we have compiled a list of the names uh some name suggestions that you guys in the chat have suggested let me see if i can make this text bigger i think yeah here we go all right so i'm gonna put this oh but these, these are a lot okay yeah the, i'm gonna the, put these into a poll there are a lot um i've kind of narrowed it down to like my three favorites Okay. Uh, but we have we have a huge list uh, from the other day of a bunch of people having. I like ha I hate doing dishes from from Jan. That was funny. Um, but I I, I kind of like these three or uh, you know like food roulette or food roulette. 
either one of those two. I'm not sure which one I, I would want to go with out of those two, but I also really liked Snack Track mm -hmm. and um, Fudu, like like magic, like you know magically find a place to eat or something. His name is kind of Fudu Val. Yeah, also, also <laughs> Fudu Val. Yeah, Fudu Val. But yeah, <laughs> oh, Val says Din Din. I'm gonna add that too. That's oh, a fun din. one. I can add that in this din. list as well. Din. Oh, I already had it actually. Right here. There's some good ones. Yeah. I hate doing dishes, fooder, chow hound, din din, <laughs> food hub, foodum, bingem, food in, food out, eats, chubby's app, hunger, hangry, feed me, food proxy, eat at, sublime cuisine, foodlers, food coach, taste haste, uh, catch food, food maps, food spot, and foodtopia. Hangry now. <laughs> hangry. Hangry. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna create this poll, and I'm gonna post it in chat right now, and then you all vote on it. And in a little bit, we'll take a look, and uh, that will be the name for this amazing app. Awesome. Yeah. Sweet. So we can come back to uh, incorporating the the name on the splash screen. Cool. All right. So I guess we can start off by putting in some icons here. Yeah. So um, I went online and found some like icon sets of, of food. Mm -hmm. And so um, this is a gastronomy set by Smash Icons on, I think, flaticons.com. OK. Uh, so uh, I, I really like this set. It's like a whole lot. Uh, and they're all, you know, they all have a similar aesthetic mm. and everything, very flat. Fancy. Yeah. So uh, we may not have a proper icon for every uh, list, every food type. That's OK. But we can, we'll, we'll make do. Also, I have a few other sets we could maybe look through in regards to that. So I'm going to quickly put this to the side. Let's do that. And there. So I believe if you select multiple images and then you drag them on top of the first one, it'll populate all of them. It with, will. With those, right? Yeah. yeah. Accordingly. OK. It will. Uh, so I may have to. The order might not be correct. Right, yeah. But. I, I may have to select, once I select them, maybe copy them into a different folder and, and I'll have to like rename them one through whatever. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I was about to recommend that. That's yeah. a thing. So we, we can try that out. Mm, that donut looks delicious. <laughs> mm. All right, so we, we can try to find like, uh, for Mexican, maybe there's like a taco in here. Yeah. Okay. And then American. Here, actually, I have another idea. I'm going to. Quickly do this, and then so I'm gonna go ahead and go create a different folder within that. So icons, gastronomy, and we're gonna do uh, name it selected, mm. and I'm going to drag by holding holding control and dragging creates a copy in the selected folder. I'm gonna go also make these uh, here extra large so that Ooh. way it's easier to drag them onto. Fancy. So selected. Here we go. So I can just drag them right onto there. So we are also looking for American, so maybe there's like a hamburger or something. Probably. Oh yeah, the I just biggest saw it. hamburger you can find. <laughs> this one looks fine. So we can copy that into there. Nice. And then we also want Chinese, so maybe there's like a rice. Rice might be good. This looks Chinese to me. We can do that. Sushi. Here we go. This looks good. I got everything in this. Set. Let's hope so. <laughs> That's true. We're only at number four. Uh, pizza. Obviously, we'll have pizza there. Uh, let's see. There. Wow. They made five pizza icons. I think this one's good though. Uh, let's see. Italian. So I don't know what kind of food would be Italian. Maybe uh, we'll come pasta, back to that. Maybe. Oh yeah, pasta or meatballs. There it is. There's there pasta. Yeah, it uh, works. Yeah, this could work, I guess. Let's see. Vegan. Uh, salad. Something. Yeah, salad is a good idea. Just a. Big thing of lettuce. <laughs> uh, chocolate. Yeah, that's in there. Copy that. And then cheesecake. Nope, they don't have cheesecake, mm. but do they have cake? This can work. That'll do. <laughs> uh, coffee. Here are a few. Also, I have another icon set for actual, for a wider variety of coffee icons, but these are probably good enough. Uh, so maybe, maybe this one. Kind of like that one. Yep. 
Uh, let's see, pancakes. Yes, they do have. Wow, they, so far, so so good. Yeah. While you're doing this, I would love to hear from the chat if you have seafood downloaded icons before. What resources do you go to? I know there's icons eight. There is Nucleo. There is you said flat icons. Mm -hmm. Another one. Throw those resources in the chat. I love yeah, hearing I, that. I'd stuff. be interested too. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, we'll put that in there. And let's see. So we got, we're down to tea. So now we're looking for Indian food. I'm, what would be, what's an Indian food? I can't remember. Curry? We can look for that. Spices, curry. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Hit a roadblock. Yeah. We may like, maybe we'll just like quickly scroll through and see if anything piques our interest in regards to kind of looks like something that could be Indian food maybe. Yeah. Maybe, we'll see. So Maya uses flat icons. Okay. The Noun Project, that's another good one. Oh yeah, that's a good one too. Yep. Let's see, a lot of ice cream ones. <laughs> Let's see, anything? Goxel is asking, what is going on? I reckon. <laughs> so, uh, welcome to Adobe Live. Welcome. This is, um, this is Michael. <laughs> Hello. I'm Howard. Hi. Um, Michael's designing an app. He's been designing it for the last three days. This is day number three, and he's at the point where he's finishing up the high fidelity designs, going to add some fancy prototyping using auto animate, and the uh, ultimate goal of this application is to basically be a food finder. So, you know, if you and your significant other or friends don't know exactly what you want to eat, you can spin the wheel and it'll tell you where to go <laughs> in yeah. a nice way. <laughs> it'll politely tell you. Yep. Okay, so I'm not really. Uh, I could probably look at another icon set. Hopefully they, hopefully they'd have something for it. But I, I don't really, not really find anything for Indian or Thai food. Mm. So we, we can come back to that. Are there noodles? Uh, could look for noodles. For Let's Thai. See. There is a strainer which kind of indicates noodles. Here we go. There. That could, that, be, for that could be for Thai yeah. food. Yeah, for now. Japanese. I mean, we we have uh, sushi already, but like uh, sometimes people, you know, there's like a exclusively sushi restaurant. Right. And there's also Japanese. Cuisine. So. Oh, Cindy uses uh, Icon Jar. That's another good one. Oh yeah. Yep. Let's see. For Japanese, I'm not entirely sure because it's it's less specific. Octopus. That I mean, that's a Japanese food. Let me put that in there for Japanese. I know it doesn't really c convey Japanese necessarily, but it might be the closest we have in the set. Without hunting, you know, taking time and, and hunting for. Mm -hmm. uh, an exact one we're looking for. So poultry, we can like you maybe uh, chicken. Why do they not have chicken? There's no chicken. That's weird. Uh, what about like turkey? Yeah, here we go. This is poultry. Close enough. Close enough. <laughs> uh, Moroccan food. Oh boy. That's like spicy. And not a clue. <sighs> don't know about that one either. <laughs> Cuban. Don't know about that one. I just realized Indian's on here two times. My wife's Cuban, I should know this. But Swedish, we should get like a gummy fish. <laughs> <laughs> Lithuanian, I don't know, French bread, I guess. Yeah, baguette or something. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we have most of them and we can check out another icon set. So here, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we can look. Mm, streamline the icons. icons, another good one. Alex check is just full one. of icons today. Okay, these are hard to see, and they're only black. Okay. What happened there? I don't know. I think. Oh, someone, this is another set. These are yeah. These oh, are different okay. sets. Yeah. I was looking through what else I have. Mm. Nutrition. Let's see what we have in here. Hmm. This is a nice variety too. Look That's at not that. bad. There's a chicken in there. Yeah. There's okay. some bread. Here. There we go. And can I? No. All right. Yeah. Let's see what we have here. So th these are these are probably a bit more like vegan based. Uh, these are like nutritional foods. Yeah. So we may not find what we're looking for for some of these still, but uh, these are not the foods you're looking for. <laughs> we we could I mean we we could improvise. I mean this isn't uh, like for an actual client, so we could right. just 
uh, improvise with something maybe slightly related. So, yeah, it's fine. Uh, we maybe broccoli for like Thai food because they they usually have the healthy vegetable stuff. Sure. Or something. Or maybe we already had noodles for Thai. I don't remember. Oh well. Oh, we did. <laughs> you can use that for something else. Yeah, we'll figure it out. And then like Indian food, I don't remember exactly what what kind of food is is Indian. A lot of spicy stuff. Yeah. So that that wouldn't be in here, unfortunately. Possibly not. But you can throw in anything for now, just so we chug along. Yeah. So I'm gonna go back to just put the clock in there. The clock. <laughs> Let's go back here, and then, I mean, I'll just, I saw spices, so I guess we can just put spices in here for that. <laughs> sure. All right, and then we have one, oh, well, Moroccan and Cuban also, but. Oh, Val suggests maybe so look up something under soup for Indian curry. Ah. No, no soup. Well. <laughs> we have uh, stew and, and strainers and things. Uh, this could be used for, for maybe one of them. Sure. Sure. Why not? <laughs> Oop, I copied the wrong folder. There we go. All right, and we, we may be missing one still, which is Cuban food. I don't know what food is Cuban. So it, uh, some, of the, some of the, in case you weren't here yesterday, uh, some of these were suggested by people in the chat. So um, uh, Howard and I may not know exactly what kind of food uh, is involved with with some of these mm. like Lithuanian and, and things like that, but uh, we wanted to include them So we'll ha <laughs> we'll just have to like improvise. Yeah uh, Let's just I Don't know. We'll just we'll just kind of make something up for a couple of them. Maybe sandwich and then uh, uh, You know something else Let's do That one I don't know sure sure why not why not? Looks delicious. All right, and now that we've done that, oops, actually, go ahead and maximize that. So now we have all these. So uh, I guess we can start renaming them. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually put them there. So uh, first off is Mexican, so we're gonna look for taco. We're gonna press F2 to rename it. We're gonna name it one because it's the first one on the list. Alexandra uh, saying Swedish food is meatballs. American. And Debbie, Cuban sandwich. Two, also, I'm gonna go ahead, options, double click so that way I'm not accidentally opening them. Okay, so third one, Chinese. So that would be rice. So we're gonna name it three. Sushi, there it is. We're gonna name it four. And then pizza, five. And Italian, what did we have for Italian? We had uh, uh, pasta. pasta, right, yeah. So, pasta, there it is. Six. Vegan, we had, uh, not salad. the broccoli, yeah, salad. Oop. Salad, seven. And then chocolate, easy enough, eight. Cheesecake, so we have cake right here. We're gonna name it nine. Coffee, 10. Pancakes, 11, and seafood. So this could be seafood, 12. Potatoes, oops, 13. <laughs> this is a, you know. It's a fun process, yeah. but it's all part of the design. <laughs> it's what we do all day. Yeah. Just rename things, organize things, tweak Gotta things. be done. Yeah. All right, so what do we decide for any food? Oh, this one. Yeah. Uh, that is, we're at 15, okay. So Thai food, we had um, noodles, so 16. And then Japanese, I decided on octopus, so we'll do 17. Poultry, that would be turkey right here, 18. <laughs> okay, we're up to Moroccan. So th this is where we kind of started to improvise. Okay, well maybe uh, while you're doing that, we're gonna uh... Get some chat wind going on, because it's about that time. Let me summon the fireworks, there they are. So while Michael is renaming all these magical foods that he's gonna throw into his app and his repeat grid in a second, we're gonna take a very quick break. When we come back, let us know in the chat what your favorite food is. If you're gonna eat one food for the rest of your life, what <laughs> would that be? And we'll be back in just a second.
And we're back. So again, just throw in the chat. If you can eat one food for the rest of your life, what would that food be? We've got tacos over there and mm -hmm. pizza. What would your food, one food be that you can eat for the rest of your life? Tacos and pizza sounds good. Hmm. I mm. think pizza probably. I'm you think fine so? With. Yeah. Yeah. I thought about that earlier. We had the same question with um, Jackie this morning. I feel like pizza, there's just too much cheese on it. So if you eat it every single day, it's going to catch up to you. That's true. And it'll probably explode. At That's something. true. But it's good. It's, <laughs> it's really good. Kebab, bean burrito. Val says I feel sushi. like bean burritos every single day would be a, a problem. Noodles, chocolate. I would do sushi. A lot yeah. of people are saying pizza. Pizza tacos. Pizza tacos. <laughs> Nathaniel says. Nathaniel. Oh, speaking of Nathaniel. Nathaniel Peterson or Pedersen or whichever way you pronounce it. Congratulations. Congrats. You've just won 100 stickers from Sticker Mule. Wow, so someone from Behance will reach out to you very shortly. <laughs> and if you did not win, you can go to stickermule.com slash Adobe Live 19 and you get 10 stickers for a dollar. Pretty wow. cool. Yeah, that's, that's a great deal. Good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Space pizza. Space pizza. I don't know what that is, but I'll take it. That space pizza. We'll be having space pizza in a bit once we uh, review portfolios. Yeah, is that like the <laughs> freeze-dried stuff they eat on the space station? Because I don't know if that would be very good. Maybe this one. So uh, I noticed I have Indian here twice, so I renamed one to barbecue. Oh, and, okay. I mean, barbecue is common in, in like sandwiches and things. Right. Let's just, I don't know, we'll just say this is barbecue, so. <laughs> uh, Actually, hold on. We're up to 19, which is, uh, let's see, Moroccan. So Cuban food, uh, I don't know. We'll just say this one. So 20, barbecue, we'll name it this one, 21. Swedish, it's a shrimp. Here, actually, I'll name this one just real quick. That'll be the that'll be Swedish. So we'll name this one, uh, we're up to 12 right there. So that'll be for seafood. Sure. And then this will be for Swedish, so we'll name it 22. <laughs> Lithuanian uh, stew, sure. 23, and then baguette, obviously French, so 24. There we go. So now I'm gonna select them all, and now... Here comes the magic. So, okay, real quick. Mm -hmm. I think... Oh no, it wasn't on this one, so I... Where did I put that? Uh, I had to put like a, a little uh, placeholder invisible image here or invisible like square to drag the the item into and so it doesn't I think if it if I do this yeah so it, it like it fills up the whole thing and that doesn't look very good right so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and actually just do that real quick so I'm gonna press R for rectangle and like make a little box and just put that oh because you don't want it filling up the entire right room. okay got it yeah that's and understandable right about there I think one more Okay, so no fill, no border. Make sure it's selected, and then we just drag them on to that, and it mm. should work on all of them. Or, that's a lot of tacos. That's a lot of tacos. Yeah. <laughs> this works a lot. Worked last time I tried this. Well, they're all tacos. Well, I, now. They're all tacos. <laughs> I don't know why. That is interesting. Mm-hmm. Does that have like maybe a problem with SVGs or something? I hope not. I might have to do it one at a time, but it should work. But if I if I I think if I drag it here, let me test with this one because I think if I drag it like one at a time, it might still populate them all. Yeah. No, after after this, you can drag one at a time, and it should. Oh. Like once once you already have images in there. Okay. But dragging all the images should work. So like drag drag them back into the first box again. Or? No, drag the second image into the second box and third one to the. Okay but I couldn't tell you why it's doing that. Well, I can't get or a hold of it. why it's doing that. They're not symbols, right? No, they're not. It doesn't no. look like here. Well, you broke XD. Well, <laughs> that is interesting. Mm -hmm. I remember, I mean, I've tried this before and it worked flawlessly. Yeah. That's strange. Even then it didn't replace it. What? Weird. All right. <laughs> I mean, maybe because it's X SVGs, I'm not sure. That is interesting. Mm -hmm. Welp. Welp. They're all tacos. I guess, I guess we're going with tacos. There we go. <laughs> all okay. right. American tacos, Chinese tacos, sushi tacos. Whoever said tacos in the chat for that's the food that you'll be eating for the rest of your life, you're in luck. Yep. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, I guess we're going with tacos. 
beautiful. That is strange. Uh, here, I'm gonna go ahead and also, yeah, so I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste them back in here. Or were they in a group? Let me see. No, okay. So there we go, and we're gonna send it down below. Okay, so we selected, this is as if we've selected. Yeah, some the people first are saying if you turn off repeat of grid, then you can replace them individually, but we're, what was supposed to happen is because he has a repeat grid, he was able, he should have been able to just drag all of those images at once right. into the grid and it would just populate all the images. But for some reason, it, just the first one's coming in. Put the group layer at the top, Bender, uh, Benderham says. Like at, at the top of the, the layers, maybe? Yeah. It is at the top. Oh, no, it's not. Hold on. Put that there. We can give it a shot. If this is what, what you meant, I apologize if I misinterpreted. So I can select that and then drag it on. Nope. Nope. Strange. Mm-hmm. I mean, it could be because they're SVGs, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, that, that, that would still be strange. Like, why would handle SVGs differently than like PNGs and things? Yeah. But. Oh, well. Oh, well. What are you going to do? Tacos it is. Tacos. It's not Tuesday, but we're going with it. <laughs> it's every day is Taco Tuesday now. All right. <laughs> so, uh, so be it. We're, we'll go with tacos. Sure. So, let's start linking it up. So, I'm going to go ahead and drag it. Or no. So, as if you're, uh, because we don't want to create like, you know, like eight different screens to select each individual piece, we can have tapping one represent tapping multiple. Mm -hmm. So we're going to just going to tap the first eight for simplicity. And so, yeah, so once you tap on it, we have wanted to auto animate uh, for probably 0.3 seconds. And then that, uh, you know, it'll have the green borders indicating that they've been selected. So I'm going to press control enter to check out a preview. And if I click on it, there you go. So we have, they're selected. <laughs> All right. And then so I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah. So I, I've I've already linked this one up just so I, cause like in case I forgot. So once you check once you check the box, mm -hmm. it takes you to this screen. Okay. Uh, these are your eight your eight favorites, which we'll we'll update this to make it look like tacos. <laughs> and so then uh, once you would like uh, you know click one of these buttons, other things would would be able to happen. So, right. Right. <laughs> While you're doing that, I'm gonna try the SVG thing on my computer. Okay. And see what happens. Maybe it's just a Windows thing. Because I've definitely tried it on Windows and Mac before, and it's worked on both. Yeah, true. So it's strange. But you keep doing that, and uh, I'll let you know. Alrighty. I will report back. So uh, one thing I noticed, um, or one, one thing I think could be like moderately, uh, oh, did it do could be thing? an SVG problem. Because I did it on mine too. Very interesting. I'll have to ask the team about that. Okay. I guess I should have uh, went with PNG. Oh well. Oh well. Uh, so one thing that I thought would be uh, kind of kind of useful, like um, like layering wise in in XD. Is oh, like so Alex confirmed that um, it could be an issue because uh, one of okay. the team did respond oh, in user okay, voice. Oh, okay, good. So they're aware of the issue. Mm. Okay, there good. There you go. Thank you, Alex. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, if I had, if, if we had some more time, I'd go back and, and use PNGs instead. Yeah. But, oh, well. Uh, so something I thought would be would be uh, kind of useful is like uh, for like some prototypes, you want like the status bar showing. Right. But if you, uh, some, you want the status bar to be always on top typically. Mm -hmm. So I wish there was like a way to like lock it in, in place on the top of the, the layers panel here. Oh, so that so way, it, whenever yeah. you paste new elements onto the page, uh, it'll still be on top. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, just a little thing. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have uh, this. It takes you to this this screen, which would be, uh, you know, these are your favorite foods. Yep. Vegan tacos and all that. <laughs> <laughs> and chocolate tacos. Chocolate tacos. Sushi tacos. I've heard, I actually heard uh, chocolate tacos are good. Really? Yeah. Mm. It's an interesting combination, but they exist. It is. <laughs> All right. 
Uh, so, once we're on this screen, let's say we want to prototype it to go where whenever we tap on, uh, it says select up to two, like for fusion restaurants and, and things, uh, or combination. So, uh, you can just like click on your favorite food you wanna, what you wanna do, and I'll just link it up to this page, auto animate, blah, blah, blah. And then it'll, you know, the screen will look like this. And then you can do like, uh, find somewhere. So this will, once you tap this button, it can take you to this screen, for example, McDonald's, because you've selected American food. Mm -hmm. uh, and it just finds like some random place based on American cuisine. Got it. Or, well, if you want to call McDonald's American yeah, cuisine. I don't know what to call it, but. American food, at least. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So now we're on this screen and uh, we can, you know, we can do all that stuff, uh, you know, find other locations, find a similar place, mm -hmm. menu, etc. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and go, uh, we're gonna link up the back page, or the back button, or here. Instead of back, let, let's like do a different, uh, go to a different section once we've like, we're like, nah, I don't really want McDonald's. I wanna like maybe check out like a random, a random place instead, like, uh, let's go to the spin section. Sure. So they tap on, uh, this would be the selection for the spin section and you would once you click on it, it would take you to this page. Yep. All right, and then we can just do a we can just do a transition for this one. Probably, uh, probably dissolve would be fine, or maybe swipe. I don't know. I think dissolve's fine. So yeah, we would land on this page, mm -hmm. and then we can then say you want to spin a random uh, a random set of of foods, just maybe something you've never heard of before. Uh, so I'm going to link it up to this page and I'm going to auto animate and drag. So mm -hmm. as you can like, once you, uh, let's see. Yeah, once you drag it, I'm, I'm gonna see how that works. Cause I, I would want so, it to be like, right. Cause it's, once you drag, it's gonna auto animate to here instead of Right, now doing does that, that uh, does that triangle, the spin triangle exist on the other artboard? Um, not yet, I don't think. Okay. so. Um, what will probably happen, you can test this, but if that oh, piece yeah, does true. not exist on that artboard, auto animate, yeah. the drag will not work because okay. auto animate doesn't detect it. All right, we can give that a shot. So I'm gonna like drag it. Yeah, see it's... And it's it's, it's kind of working, but you gotta like, for one thing, I'm moving my cursor way down here and yeah. stuff. So yeah, it's kind of kind of iffy. Yeah, so what you could do is grab yeah. that piece, duplicate it on that other mm -hmm. artboard and just kind of have it behind or just have it part of the larger thing and then just like shrink it down and then turn the opacity down. Yeah. So that kind of fades away as you're spinning. So we can kind of uh, align it here and see if we can find the center point. Here we go. All right, so th this is pretty much where it is then. So we can, um, let's see, we, we want the spin tab to disappear and turn into one of these eight uh, choices. So we can then uh, reduce the size to be, you know, like normal, like all of the others. Make sure the the uh, border width stays consistent with the rest, which is two. Uh, that's close enough. And then we can just uh, just kind of fade out. That mm -hmm. that should work. And instead of dragging, uh, since uh, dragging probably won't be the best method uh, for prototyping uh, as of the current state of XD or whatever, uh, we can just do a tap. Sure. And it'll auto automate. Like. Yeah. And we can see how that looks like that. And of course, uh, if you want to see it in more detail, you can like, you know, make it do, you know, a longer period of time so you can study all the different moving parts so you can customize exactly how you want it to transform. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of watch it slowly transform like that. All right. I mean, yeah, I mean, I think that's fine. Yeah. We can do 0.3 seconds again. We'll do ease out. You should make the non, the, the, the circle that you're not, um, you know, tapping on, just like explode all over the place. Wait, say that again, I'm sorry? So on, on this screen here, mm -hmm. like if you tap on spin at the top, then this circle just explodes. Oh, that would be funny. Maybe at the end, if we have time. Let's see if we have time, that'd, that'd be cool. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're on this screen now, mm -hmm. and of course we can go back. So I'm gonna quickly link that up, and we can probably just, I mean, auto animate's probably fine. So, 
we're on the screen and now we want it to, to spin. So I'm gonna see uh, spinner, oh, spin circle. All right, so right now it's a zero rotation. We want it to rotate to get back to pizza again. So this one's already already done that for us. So we can uh, time, I think, yeah, we should be able to time it. Uh, so like uh, you, uh, so this one's set to tap. So once you tap on the spin tab here, it'll auto animate to this. Then we can like click on the title of the screen and then we can drag it to this one and set as time. Mm -hmm. And we can do auto animate, and we want we want it to like be as if it's actually spinning. So we want a more realistic animation. So we're gonna do ease in and out. Yeah, you can also po possibly do wind up, which will have the, oh, yeah. the wheels kind of spin backwards just a little bit, and then it'll start going forwards. Okay, I can I can see how that looks. Yeah, play around with a few of them, see what looks best. Yeah. So let's see. I already I already kind of noted this. Um, just so I, could, I didn't have to like oh, okay. necessarily figure it out on screen. I'm just confusing you now. Uh, no, no, it's okay. I, I just like I was just playing around with it before just to see if it would work. And uh, this is kind of what I wrote down. So, mm -hmm. 1.5 seconds is the duration, and I think zero delay is probably fine. So we can see how that works. So we can press Control Enter, click the spin tab. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, the the labels now now it's to fix the labels. Mm. So that's fine. Okay. Are the labels part of? They they're, are. Yeah. They're yeah. It's part of this group, but mm -hmm. it's um, in the same group as a spin circle. So I don't know if that uh, influences how it works. Because uh, these are set to rotate uh, accordingly, but obviously it didn't work. <laughs> right. As long as the labels are part of the same group of the circle that's spinning, it should all spin together. Okay. So that means I can probably uh, take these and group them together, send it behind the spinner. I can name this, um, what did I name the spinner circle? Yeah, spin circle, so. Uh, <laughs> and labels, I guess. And then of course we'll have to copy that group over here again, do the right. same thing. Uh, so we can give that a shot. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this group, copy it over. I'm going to paste it in. And I'm going to note the rotation, 337.5. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete these, deselect that. And I'm going to take this and type 337.5. There we go. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna send this to the back. Yeah, so uh, the selector is behind it, so I'm going to send it back there. And now we can test it to see how it looks. And it should work. There we there go. There we go. Fancy. Cool. So I did like Wind Up. Uh, I'm going to see, let's see if I, if I like that more than uh, Ease and Out. Yeah, try both of them, see what happens. So we're just going to change it to from Wind Up to Ease and Out. Mm -hmm. And then I can just open it again. Click spin. That's nice like too. That. Yeah. We could uh, we could change the duration. We could see how how we like it. Maybe uh, two point five seconds just to see how it looks. That might be good. Yeah, I like in and out because it kind of not the burger place, but the um, the easing because at the end it kind of just slows down. Yeah. So, boop, it kind of slows down and then you're at pizza. Yeah. Okay. So, and as Val mentioned, there's about 40 minutes until portfolio reviews. Ooh, wow. So get those in so we I'm can excited. take a look at them. <laughs> yeah. Those are always really fun to look at. They are fun. Um, okay, so now we're at this screen that we just spun. So mm -hmm. I'm going to select the entire artboard yep. and drag it over to this one, and we're going to set it as a time. Maybe uh, we'll see how it looks without a delay first off. Yep. And we're going to change this to uh, probably just ease out. And we're, we'll do it to like maybe 0.5 seconds. Uh, so now we have to consider this whole piece here, right? And make it make it the same on on this one. Yeah. So you have a few options. If you just leave it the way it is now, and those pieces on the right do not exist on the left artboard, then it'll just fade in. Um, and if you're okay with that, then you can just leave it as mm -hmm. is. But if you want some sort of motion, you'll also have to have them on the right. previous artboard. 
So I'm going to go ahead and make that a symbol. I'm going to copy the symbol in case I make any changes. Actually, no, symbol wouldn't be a good idea because if I if I transform it to animate, it will mess up the actual one. So we're going to not do a symbol. <laughs> we're just going to have to iterate the changes and pay pay attention and you know copy paste and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So first, we're going to make sure it's in the same group, same layout and everything. So it's named result data. It's in the spinner and results uh, group. So spinner results. Uh, I, you see results data is already in here, but it's it's an older version. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in the new one. And first off, I'm going to delete that symbol. <laughs> oh, well, it pasted it as a symbol. That's interesting. OK, so I'm just going to recopy it. OK, there we go. Paste that in. Delete that. OK, and you see now it looks like that. Now, how do we want it to look? So mm. first off, we're going to we're going to go ahead and align it up here. And then let's we can kind of play around with different ideas, like may, maybe like kind of kind of uh, grow in or something. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure what that red color was, but I mean, we, we, we could try uh, a bunch of different things. So sure. let's see. How do we want to do this? So I, I've uh, I've organized each piece of it into different boxes, like different sections of the thing. And I'm going to go ahead and hide the header just for now. It's not not in my way. Uh, hide the status bar. OK. So th this is the this is um, fun and a challenging part of auto animating it is sure it's trying to make it look good. But it's also fun because you like you get to make it move however you want. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we can do here. So if I shrink that, yeah, nothing. So yeah, as I've tried, I've already tried like like doing that, but now maybe maybe that's okay. Uh, like maybe down here, but then we can adjust each individual piece within the groups to do uh, what we want. Right. So we can go ahead and select these backgrounds and maybe like, uh, you know, make them real small or something. And we'll, we'll just see how it, how it looks as we go along. Mm -hmm. And then maybe we also we, well, I'll wait to do that actually. So, all right, so let's select the, uh, the address and result. Let's go ahead and like maybe maybe put them down here. Maybe overlap them together or something. Uh, it might look really weird, so we'll we'll continue playing around with it. But if you're using a a fast duration for the auto animate, and and maybe these elements start at zero percent opacity, mm -hmm. then it may not matter if they overlap right. a little. Yeah, you may I, not notice it. Yeah, right. Okay, so new result. So we have, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that actually. So new result button here, Oop. <laughs> right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and move that down as well. And then we have, so box one contains an empty box mm -hmm. and we can, we can just leave that be for now. Uh, we want, so box three has all, all this content here so we can just like select them. We can like move them down. I'm going to deselect that. Move them down here. Maybe squeeze them together. I want to I want to have like kind of a, a pop up box like effect. Right. So we're going to see if we can. <laughs> All right, and this is Okay. So union is a, is like the I think the the background piece like a, a gradient. Yeah. I'm not sure why that red's there, but it's it's fine. So we can go ahead and just like shrink it. See how it looks. Just move it down. I don't know. And then we can select the whole group and just take down the opacity, and we'll see how it looks. It might look pretty weird at first, but then we can make adjustments. So it's okay. It's all part of the fun. Yeah. So control enter. 
That's not bad, actually. Yeah, that looked pretty good. That actually. looks good. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna look at Ship it like it. slowly, real quick. So we're gonna do three seconds, just so I can like kind of study its movement. Yeah, it'll probably look weird slow, but That's still not, not bad. too bad. Yeah, yeah. That, that actually turned out pretty well. Yeah. But when cool. it's quick, when it's like 0. 0.5, 0. 0.6 seconds, yeah, you don't really notice, notice it. it. Yeah, so you're like, oh, that's cool. When I mean, you don't notice that, like, you know, slow motion looks weird. Like, yeah, it doesn't matter really. Yeah, that was neat. As long as the actual effect is what you were going for. Right. So I think that's pretty good. So I, I guess we'll go with it. Do it. Cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and save. Control S. Okay. So uh, we can go ahead and. Uh, like the restart button, uh, we can have it have a restart to do a different result. I, I don't know if we'll have time. Actually, it probably won't be too hard. What I, what I can do is like press Control D, and then we'll just give it like a different, entirely different place. You know, just fabricated place. So like, uh, <laughs> you know, something like that, and sure. we can. Uh, base it off of a type of food, so maybe uh, maybe Chinese. So, uh, what would be a, a Chinese place you like? Oh gosh, I don't know. <laughs> Panda Express. It's technically Chinese. <laughs> I know, but it's not very good. <laughs> Let's do it. That's the first one that popped into my mind. People, people are just gonna be shaking their heads in the chat. They're like, oh. I'm gonna get angry tweets now. <laughs> Panda Express, how? <laughs> yeah. All right, and so uh, this, let's say Panda Express, since since Howard doesn't like it very much, we'll give it three stars. <laughs> it's just okay. And we'll say this is, you know, uh, you know, 1.5 miles away or something. It's it's not expensive, so we'll just do uh, one price, you know, $1 sign to indicate inexpensive price. And boom, there you go. And so then we have to uh, spin this the wheel accordingly. Yep. So let's see. We can find the. Oh yeah. People are gonna send, send me angry panda <laughs> gifts. So how's this one? Spin a random. Okay, got it. So for some reason, this group isn't. Uh, oh, I see. Because I didn't, I didn't copy the change over. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this uh, group here, copy it, and I'm going to replace this wheel with that. So this is named Spin Circle and Labels. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in. Align it. Okay and then put it in the proper place. So put this here. Oops, let's take it out of that group. All right. And here, where is? Selector is there, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete these. And then I'm going to drag this into this group. I believe that is correct. And then move this above it. Let's just make sure. So we have spinner and results mm -hmm. is the base group, and then we have spinner random, and then inside that we have the actual circle. I know it may be confusing, but yeah. The tweets have begun. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have a spinner and results, spinner random, and then within that we have two groups. Yep, so it's, it is correct. Cool. So then I can just copy this again, or I could just copy the whole group and then replace spinner random with the new one. So move that down one and delete that. Make sure. Yep, I think that's good. I think. Let's delete that one then. Okay. So yeah, that's fine. And so we can give it a rotation to Chinese. So about there. Mm -hmm. And so this can, we can also probably have to duplicate these as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and select them in prototyping mode so we can copy uh, where they take you as well. Yep. So we can just drag these over here. Let's uh, do this properly. So we'll just select these three. We can move them over here. And so now we have a different set of results that you could get. So 
once you click this restart button, it should auto animate to this screen. And then this will take you to this one, and then this one will have it take you to the next one. So instead of this screen, we'll take it to this screen. And okay. then we'll see how that looks. Probably run into some issues, but Probably. we'll see what happens. Yeah, he's, he's already like, I see where you made a mistake. Possibly. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, first spin. Oh and yeah, and I still need to adjust the time of that. Yeah. But, okay, so you click that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. So tell us, Howard, what went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, because you duplicated those two artboards, you also have to do that collapsing thing on the second one. So this one over here. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I could so you just, basically just copy that yeah, stuff and put it on that one. That makes sense. Yeah, and then fix the speed. Right. Other than that, I think it, everything else and that's, should yeah, work. I think, yeah, that's the whole thing. Yeah. So copy that and then put it in. That one's good. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see. Paste that, delete that, and yeah, all these are, are within that. Is, that. is that okay? Yeah, <laughs> should be. Let's see. You fix the time with duration. Right, right, right. Hmm. Good call. Thank you. So we'll change that to, I think we decided on, what did we decide on? Oh yeah, for well for this one, uh, it was just like, we'll do 0. 0.5. And then, this 2.5, yeah, that's good. This one, 2.5 and 0.5. And let's see. So we start, spin, selects pizza, mm -hmm. expands, restart. And okay, that time is still bad. <laughs> right. Whoa, where's Whoa. it going? Okay. Okay, that was odd. So yeah, <laughs> I see. Right. Oh yeah, you didn't choose Chinese on the other ones. Right. Right. Right, right, right. So I'm going to note the rotation. It is 293, so I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Mm -hmm. 293, there we go. And then we're gonna adjust the time. Uh, which one was slow? One of them was like, oh yeah, it was like yeah, really was, slow auto animating back. So this yeah, one- Yeah, was this to this yeah. possibly? Right. Yeah. There we go. So we just want like 0.5. Okay, and then we can give it another go. There we go, and then restart. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think what you, you could do is, if you close the prototype, is from, was it this, no. Oh, over there. So this screen to this screen, mm -hmm. keep this the same, like on pizza, and then spin it. If okay. That makes sense. Oh, right. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. That way it doesn't spin too quickly. Right. 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 Good call. Mm. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that rotation. Yep. And then select this group and paste that rotation. So that way it's still the same. And then it should look, although it may just slightly rotate that way. So we'll, we'll check it out. So I'll go do that screen and then restart. See, yeah, it only slightly rotated. So it, it doesn't oh, look like right. it actually spun. Right. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to rotate spin it all, the way, all the way around again. See if that works. It may not, who knows. Uh, and so the original rotation was 293. Uh, we just wanna make sure it's, it's still spun to the right place. So yeah, you see it's slightly off. That's okay. Okay, undo. Yeah, okay, that's good. Negative 67, and then we'll do the same on this one. Negative 67, and then we can test. There we go. That worked. Fancy. Cool. Nice. Alrighty. So let's see. I actually had, uh, I had a bit of a. Um, I think I'm gonna swap the two. So the first result you would get would be Chinese, and then pizza, because I have. I have oh. uh, these screens set up, optimized for CC's Pizza. Mm. So we can go ahead, I mean, that's super easy to do. So um, we just, instead of dragging to this one, we just drag to this one. And also I realize this header has to be on the screen as well. Okay, there we go. 
And then we hit the restart button here and we can just drag it back onto this one instead. Also paste the header there. Okay, and then just for, uh, so it's a little less confusing, we just, we can just drag these over here. Uh, ben Rahim is actually saying that on the screens it says you've spun and then the restaurant name it might be a little bit stuffy or squished at the top. You, you see mean, how like you spun is very close to yeah. CC's pizza? It might be a little bit too okay. claustrophobic. Okay. But those are minor things you can probably change at some point. Yeah, I think it'd be easy enough just to like move these down a few pixels, like maybe uh, tens a little close to the rating. So we can undo that, maybe down 10 and then up, you know, three maybe. Right. And we can do the same on the other one. So down 10, up three. There we go. So it's a little less claustrophobic now. Mm. Thanks for the suggestion. All right, and then just one more time, we can quickly, actually, first off, before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, link it up to where when you tap on this directions button, it'll take you to uh, the map. So here. All right, and yeah, we'll see how that goes. So we'll do one full test of what we have so far. So spin lands on Chinese, mm -hmm. there you go. And then you can hit restart. Oh, and also I need to change that rotation too. Uh, okay, but that looks good. And yeah, then look, okay. click that and Fancy. it takes you to that. Cool. Great. So yeah, <clears throat> I know this, so okay, so we're on, um, yeah, so this rotation takes you to here, which is pizza. Uh, we actually want the same rotation as this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that to zero and it'll spin and land on Chinese. And then once you're on Chinese, it'll, you know, it'll expand. And then we want this same rotation here. So I'm gonna go ahead and negative 67, copy that. And we're gonna want that same rotation. So negative 67, it'll spin and then it'll land on pizza and then it'll take you there. Mm. There you go. Great. I can go for some pizza right now. <laughs> Sounds good. Can we I, order pizza and just have it delivered while we're streaming? That would be, be cool. cool. Paco, Although, can we do that? We'd probably make the people watching jealous. That's okay. <laughs> we'll be happy though. Some space pizza. I don't think we've ever done that. It should be a first. <laughs> Next day, Howard's fired. <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, now we have, uh, so we're on this screen now. And so what we what we want to do is let's check out the directions list. So I'm going to go ahead and select this button here. Mm -hmm. And once you tap on it, it would take you here. And instead of an auto animate, we want a, an overlay. Or, you know what would be or cool? Actually, no, transition. I just thought of a cool idea. What, what's that? Actually, I don't know if it'll work very well. Well, I mean, it could because you have to ungroup the symbol. Um, but you know how that button at the bottom is composed of two objects. There's like the white button in the background and then there's the yellow in the foreground, right? Right. Um, you have the white button fly up and then like all the directions are hidden behind it. So it's kind of like an overlay on top of, does that make sense? Uh, Maybe. Wait. So the white button down there, right? Behind the um, the yellow or is there, mm -hmm. a, uh, or it, is it, it transparent? It's, it's transparent. Ah. Well, if you do a white, that actually, that, it's put white kind of in the a background. smart idea though. Yeah, I'd, you just do white in the background instead of transparent and then just extend that upward. So it's kind of like an overlay on top of the and map. And like uh, transform into, into this, is what you're saying? Or? Yeah, and also you can just hide the directions underneath the okay. button and they all come up. So it's not like you're going to a different screen. It's all, get fancy with yeah, it. Yeah, that, that, that's pretty fancy. We're getting fancy here. We can give it a shot. Let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead then and take this shape here. I'm going to copy it. And since it's a symbol, uh, we're going to go ahead and paste it underneath in a different, you know, right beneath it. We're going to take off that and we're going to give it a white fill. Yeah. Okay. And then, so once you click this, uh, let's take that off. Oh, here first, actually. Yeah. Alex is saying it'd be, it'd be like a piece of paper coming out of the button. Yeah. That, that, that's that's kind of what that's I'm going pretty for. Cool. So we're gonna take that off. So now once you click the white, it'll take you here. Mm. And we're gonna change it from overlay to auto animate. I would actually just duplicate this, this first artboard, move it over there, 
And then just like. Oh yeah, that's yeah. true. And then copy and paste the directions over. Yeah. So let's uh, drag this over here, control D, and then we can select all the content, copy it over. Uh, also, we, we probably need, do we need a background as well? Probably. Uh, well, the background will be the button. Right, when it, okay, when it flies so white, white background? Yeah, so maybe extend or, the background up first. Okay. Or the button. Okay, so let's try that. So we'll take the background yep. and then we'll enlarge it. Mm -hmm. And we'll extend it. And we'll go ahead and extend it this way as well. You could. You can also just have it line up with the button so it's just like. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's keep it all nice and flush yeah. and maybe move the top down so you can still yeah. see the search. Give yeah. it some space. That yeah. looks pretty And then good. put the directions there. Cool idea. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the content, and we'll have to align it accordingly, of course. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we can do with this. It's a pretty fun idea. <laughs> yeah, could be fun. OK. And then, of course, this is a, a huge header. So we're going to go ahead and take the background and just like kind of shrink it size it the way we want. And then of course, once we do this, uh, we'll copy it to the previous screen and then uh, shrink them all down, hiding behind the button. Yeah. Okay. So we'll take the header and, all right. yeah, okay. So we'll take, instead of the header, we'll select all these and just move them up. There we go. Yeah, and then we want also to do these. So all of these, Except, yeah, not the header. And we'll just move them like that. That's probably fine. Mm -hmm. Give them a little breathing room on the left. Give it two squares. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's. I think that's pretty good. And then we want to also select these, make sure everything is in here. Yeah, we want to group it. We'll name it. Uh, Well, here, directions list, content. Okay, so yeah, everything's in here. And you'll probably want to make sure that it's below, all the, those um, text layers are below the first button, so the yellow button, so we can, it'll, it'll right, hide it right. eventually, or initially. Okay, so we want this to be on top. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm gonna go ahead and select all these things and just move them below the status bar, oh, that way. All right, so now we take, we have this, and then we want uh, this, and we'll group them together. Actually, Aaron, just take the background and drag it into the group. There we go. So now it's all one thing, and so we can copy that over, paste it in here. Did you want to keep that other group that you created? Which group? Or see how it says group oh, one? Yeah. yeah, that'll cause some problems. Oops. Good call. Paste that in. And we'll go ahead here. I'll take the this button here, move it to the front. I'll go ahead and select all these things. Just move it behind the status bar again. Okay, so we have the button on, in front, and then we have this content here. So we're gonna expand this uh, uh, group, and we're gonna go ahead and, or we may be able to, yeah, that works. That could work. And then adjust the little pieces. So we take the, Close button. Um, oh yeah, it's in the header. We can just move it down here. We can take the header itself, hide it behind the background. Uh, doesn't really matter. It's it's fine that size, but I guess just because we can shrink it, I guess. Sure. All right, and then you see now everything is hidden behind it, and now we can we can give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Boom. Oh, hold on, <laughs> that's awkward. Wrong screen is linked up. So we'll take that and we'll do, yeah, auto animate. And I think that's right. Cool. Hey. Fancy. Very fancy. <laughs> I love it. Cool. It's a, <laughs> a pretty cool idea. Yeah. 
And then let's see, do we want to, to change the speed at all? You think that's okay? I think it looked okay. okay. Maybe a little bit faster, but okay. you definitely don't want to go slower. Yeah. And then maybe we'll cha change the easing a bit, possibly. Maybe a snap might be cool. Ooh. So a little bit, you said faster? Yeah, like 0 0.3 or 0 0.4. Okay. And then we'll just give it a shot. Whoop. Whoop. Pretty good. Yeah. Yep. We can take the, the X and then, of course, take you back to this screen. Oh, that looks good. And yeah, there's that. So Fancy. now you, you see the directions and everything, and I can go get a uh, Delete get that the screen. One. Get rid of it. No one else. <laughs> okay. So now, you know, you, you checked out. We're like, okay, we, we know the CC's Pizza directions and everything. Yep. Uh, so maybe uh, now we want to be led to the, the custom section now. Um, so now we can just take this. Hold on. Oh yeah, I see what happened. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the nav bar, and I'm gonna go ahead and select the section, we wanna go to section three. So section three background, control tab, and then drag that onto the first custom screen. I'm gonna do auto animate, I guess it's fine. Do ease out. All right. And then we can start doing this. Uh, so we, we, we <laughs> Jan, Adobe CC's Pizza. Adobe CC's Pizza. Like Creative Cloud. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> I like it, Jan. You should like partner with CC's Pizza. Well played. <laughs> yep. <sighs> That's funny. Um, so since we, we may not have time to like develop an actual like fly out uh, panel to like select different type, a type of food or place or something, we're just gonna quickly use just a click method to represent as if we've we've selected a place right. and things. So, one, you know, we, we tap on this, or actually, tap on the little down arrow. I guess the whole thing would be a down arrow. We'll just drag that onto there. Auto animate, Italian will fill it up, and you just basically do that for all of these. Yeah, Ben Rahim is, is saying, imagine if you can actually play with the timing of each layer individually. Can't wait to see that on XD sometime. That would be amazing. I would love that, but in the meantime, <laughs> What I found kind of works is, let's say on the on the oh, final artboard, all of your items are spaced out, let's say 24 pixels apart. On the first artboard, if you space them out further and further apart from each other, they'll they'll appear as if they're coming at a different speed. So you can kind of fake it right now, but I yeah, I would love to see more control over individual layers. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so the fill here, we want the highlight fill color as if we've tapped uh, as if we've tapped the third star uh, it'll give it like a rating it'll help you know determine a place that has at least three stars yep and medium price range and everything so then once we have so you see here let's see so yeah we've already we are, we're on the screen and then we link up this one to here and then we want, like, say, anywhere five miles away. So we just select this and just drag it over here. And there you go. Now we're at five miles. And then we can do find somewhere. So drag that. And we, we may be able to do the same type of thing with maybe the results page, too, like the little flyout idea you Possibly, had. Possibly, yeah. We could see how, how we could do that. Mm -hmm. All right, and then we can test it out. Italian, restaurant at least medium price range, at least three stars, five miles away, find somewhere. Bam. And then you have uh, some results here. And then now we want to link up some settings. So let's see, we want this group selected. So once you tap on this group, it'll take you to, uh, let's see. Oh, I see. Okay, so first I'm gonna go ahead uh, so I had it set up for like the sort button. Mm -hmm. So like I wanted to sort by rating. Right. Okay. So there you go. And then we can also, that's probably fine to do, or here, we'll do the icon instead. So sort by rating and that'll auto animate here. And then we can go to, uh, then we like, hmm, I think Sensetis is fine. We'll just drag it onto this screen and then here we are. And then also, 
Uh, I have the difference between these two screens is the the place isn't favorited right now, but say right. you like this place, now you you can favorite it. So like once you tap on the star button. Hmm. This is really m making me want uh, like animatable, animatable symbols. Animatable? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> But that'd be really cool. So you don't have to have two artboards for one little element. You can basically have a symbol that with different states. So yeah. if you have a si that symbol on one artboard and you click on it, you don't have to transition to another artboard. It just does that animation within that single that'd artboard. Be cool. That'd be cool. That would be. That'd be yeah, amazing. I hope that's coming. <laughs> that would be amazing. It'd be pretty snazzy. Snazzy. Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah, just quickly go through it again. Three stars, five miles away, find somewhere. Oh yeah, so that is, oh yeah, I just had it fade. So we, we can add a more fancy effect to the sort. So we want to sort by rating, here we go. And then we want Sassetti's, here we go. And uh, we can start. Bam. So it's our, it, it would be added to our favorite places here. Looks good. Yep. So we can try to play around with the uh, the sort flyout a little bit. Oh, Roman animatable. I'm gonna make that a hashtag. <laughs> Alex says, you heard it here first, states in the March XD update. That'd be awesome. <laughs> that would be awesome. All right. So I have sort panel here. And so let's see, how do we want to animate this? Because currently all it does is just you know, it changes the opacity. It's nothing special. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn up the opacity bit so we can see what we're doing. And then we can we can see how, how this works. So we can grab the uh, background fill and we have, uh, it's a union, so two different shapes creating one shape being the yellow. Mm -hmm. So we just, we can probably just uh, shrink it and like have it fit within here maybe. Yep, that could work. Okay. Um, that's probably fine. So then, of course, we'd have to do the same thing because uh, with the background border. So we'll grab this piece and do the same kind of thing. <laughs> it's kind of awkward. There we go. If you had more time, you could actually take the the text layers where it says results and all that stuff, um, put everything in a mask. That way you don't have to necessarily move everything around. It just like unmasks as oh, that yeah. shape in the background expands. Yeah, that's true. But we have five minutes until portfolios. Yeah. Um, and, and we've gotten uh, pretty much all the, all the screens linked up. Yeah. Uh, so once we get to this, we can quickly link up the maps thing and then we'll, we should be good to go. Cool. Most of what I wanted to accomplish. So we'll do the source panel and then we can quickly test that. So auto animate like that. That's pretty cool. Except uh, also the uh, all the text and things. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly increase that and then take all of these. Uh, just go ahead and do that. Doesn't have to be super great, but the, you know, this is probably okay. See if that works. It's probably gonna look like a mess, possibly. It might, but who knows? We'll see what happens. We'll see. Man, yeah, that's wasn't pretty bad. Good. Yeah, fancy. Turned out. Rating, since Eddie's favorite. There we go. There you go. And then we can link up to take you to the map section. Mm -hmm. So. Oh man, I really wanted to get to the, the voice as well. That's okay. Well, after maybe after we review the portfolios, depending on how much time we have. Okay. You can always add right. a few and voice commands in there. Okay, so now uh, this will take you to the map section, which has various blips for representing different places mm -hmm. uh, to eat. So you have the top rated. So like once, let's say you click on this, it'll take you to here. Yep. And I think I haven't, I don't think I've copied out the the new one. So let me check. I'm just going to check real quick. Yeah, that's the old one. What's that third one say? Oh. Oh boy. 
Oh boy, <laughs> what is happening? We have some. <laughs> oh no, you just. These are some top rated places nearby. Oh my gosh. An un unassuming French restaurant, extreme ironing, it's a cool hobby, and Val's Bane, Pineapple oh Pizza Cafe. My. <laughs> She's like, wow. wow. Oh boy. <laughs> you just oh crossed man. the line. <laughs> you thought I crossed the line yesterday. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Security. You're going to be escorted out of here Shots very fired. soon. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and take the panel here and just move it uh, down below. Mm -hmm. Remove the opacity, take it, and you should, it should auto animate, should look fine. Yep, looks pretty good. All righty. And uh, that, that's basically the extent of the maps, uh, just to kind of get you an idea of how it works, because we don't have enough time to do everything we want with right. it, unfortunately. <laughs> but, okay. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try to get to the, the voice thing. So oh, okay. on here, I had it in the custom section, or the, uh, sorry, me section. So let's have it link up, take you to, uh, you're like, I'm in the mood for something. So uh, we can just uh, link it back up to uh, McDonald's, I guess. Why not? Just drag it onto McDonald's, select voice command. So, um, You know, something like that. So now, should be where if I hold down a space bar, it should take me to it. So, I'm in the mood for McDonald's. Hey. Yeah, it worked. There you go. Then you can add a actual, like a, a voice uh, speech, pl speech playback. That's the one. I'm having problems speaking because it's late. <laughs> um, you can add speech playback on that next screen so that it actually says like, here's, Mc here's McDonald's or something. Ah. How would you how would you do that? So you do a time transition essentially. So you select the On entire the artboard. Okay. Yep. And then just transition. press the handle instead of dragging it. And then you'll do a time transition or time trigger with zero seconds. Mm -hmm. And then you'll do the speech playback ah, for action. Cool. Oh, cool. Well that was really weird. That was strange. <laughs> what in the world? Alright. <laughs> It doesn't like your choice of food. <laughs> no McDonald's. Yeah, that, that, that's weird. I go to hit control backspace, which is usually to delete an entire word. Oh. Uh, it uh, removes the whole thing. That's interesting. interesting. Okay, so just no control backspace. All right, so she's saying, okay, here's what I found. Yep. We also have a bunch of new voices in the latest Ooh, update. Oh yeah, that's awesome. So let's give it a shot. I'm in the mood for McDonald's. I don't know if it worked. Is it, your sound on? I probably have to change the output. Oh, probably. Yeah, put it to speakers. Okay. And then crank that volume up. Yeah, let's give it another shot. I'm in the mood for McDonald's. Okay, here is what I found. <laughs> it there we go. That's pretty awesome. Fancy. Just for the heck of it, let's quickly just play a different voice. In the 10 seconds we have left, select Ivy. I'm in the mood for McDonald's. Okay, here is what I found. Whoa, that's an interesting <laughs> voice. It's very creepy. Very high pitch. That sounds like something from the mask okay. singer. Okay. <laughs> All right, but cool. There we go. With that, it's time to head to space and take a look at some portfolio. So we will back, be back in just a second. We're grabbing our rocket ship. There's something flying in my face. We're gonna be flying into space, get some pizza maybe. Maybe. <laughs> All right, we'll be back in one second. See ya. Space. Zero <laughs> gravity. Yeah. All right. Uh, we can breathe. definitely breathe. Oh, uh, I think it's safe out here. Did you, uh, I think I saw Michael out of the corner of my eye when the space helmet was on. He tried to take a drink of water. Yeah. I just wanted to see if it would work. And it didn't work, didn't it? Did it? It's better than spilling it. <laughs> that is true. All right. So we're going to take a look at some portfolios. We have two to take a look at right now. And the first one is Kiran. He is from Mumbai, India. And here's some information 
Oh, no information about Qron. So that would be my first uh, bit of feedback, is if you are on Behance and if you're putting together a portfolio and you want to attract potential clients, really go crazy with this section down here. Uh, let us know who you are, what you do, how long you've been designing, what, you what your focus is, and maybe a few things that you might be currently working on. Am I missing anything? What else do you want to see on our portfolio? Uh, definitely like your your experience, uh, what what your skills are, what you what you enjoy doing. Like uh, I think people would want to know like what you're passionate about. Yeah, if you enjoy long walks on the beach, good place to put it. <laughs> May as well, I guess. Sure. Yeah. This is a bit about you. Pineapple on pizza, them. put it here. Yeah, if you like that stuff. Yeah. No, but seriously, um, <laughs> clients want to know who you are, right? I like the fact that you have your social media handles linked up, but definitely kind of expand on that bio so we know exactly what you do, who you are, and that fun stuff. All right, which should we take a look at first? I'm I'm kind of interested in, um, well, I also like the, the face here, but I kind of want to check out the, the Ada. This one here? Okay. Yeah. So this is a UI and UX design for Ada, a social media app. All right. Oh, where are we going? Here we go. Oh, okay. Cool. All right. First off, I love the uh, I love the header image. I, I really like the the white and black that you did, like the yeah. the uh, the angle and everything. It looks really clean. It works, yeah. I, I like love the logo. Yeah, I love Behance projects that have this like big, almost full width header image at the top yeah. that really kind of showcases a few pieces of the app. That's really cool. Yep. All right, mm -hmm. fancy bunch like of different that. screens. A bit of a hero image. Colors. Colors. Mm -hmm. Always good to know those. Yeah. What do you I, think of the color scheme? I, I like the color scheme. Yeah. I, I would say that uh, the black on the, the the blue swatch there is a little hard to see. A little bit, uh, yeah. So I, I would maybe change that to white, but uh, the colors are good, mm -hmm. I'd say. Fonts. Yeah. Nice. Different screens. I would say just very nitpicky, something like this. A um, little bit of more breathing room. In this area here, it's too a little bit too close to that switch, but mm -hmm. you know, very nitpicky things. That's what I do. Maybe maybe put some of the overflow or some of the text that's too close to the to the switch, maybe on a second line or something. Yeah. Okay. The the GIF is a little small. Yeah. But um, I mean, uh, due to like the the size uh, file size restraints on Behance, I can understand that. Yeah. But I'd maybe. Uh, See if you can make the gifts a little bigger to see. Totally. But yeah, it's cool. Thank you. Nice so, job. what, yeah, I, I love the presentation of this. Mm -hmm. The only thing I would say is I want to know more about what this is, right? I understand it's a social, social media app to share your photos, which is great. But, um, you know, Jackie and I were talking through a few portfolios this morning. And one thing that we love is seeing the progress and the reasoning behind a lot of these things. Right. So, Tell us about what the challenge is. What what problem are you trying to solve with something like this? Is there a problem, like we've all shared photos on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. Is there something that those applications are missing mm -hmm. that this app will try to solve? Yeah. And then if you've gone through different revisions, clients love seeing that stuff. Don't worry about showing some mistakes or things that didn't work initially. Definitely show the entire process and how you got to these really f fancy looking uh, screens. Right. So yeah, I mean, the goal of of of, of designing apps and things uh, like why should someone use your idea instead of an already existing app? Right. Yeah. So yeah. conveying that is, is always a good thing to do. But I it, great job. Totally. Let's find another one. Possibly. Maybe. There we go. I kind of wanted to check out that that face one. That's kind of creepy. So this is called a girl, girl and stars. All right. Is it just like something you? Oh, it looks like it could be an illustration wow. or a drawing or. That so is, that looks yeah, that's really sketch cool. in my sketchbook. That's neat. Very creepy. I like the I like the vibe. Like oh, look, the, it says I think it says something here. Dreams. Dreams. Yeah. Ooh, interesting. Very cool. A tra nice transition into like a starry night and everything. Yeah. Wow. Oh, and I see oh, you okay. computerized it. Oh, this nice is fancy. Job. Okay, so he went from. This sketch, which is already amazing, yeah. it's better than I can do in a, <laughs> in a sketchbook with markers. And then I'd be curious to find out how that process, that transition went. Like, was this 
did he completely redo it in either Illustrator or Photoshop or wherever he he did this in, or was was it captured using like Adobe Capture or Scanned or what tools did he use? Did he use right. a Wacom tablet or whatever it might be? Yeah, I'd be interested. Does it say? It says Photoshop and Illustrator. Okay. So I would definitely want to know more about how that transition went. But this is cool. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. I, I can like see it. this as like a wallpaper for a, a phone or something. That's neat. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. All right, let's 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 see what this is. Firefox. Firefox. Another like illustration okay. you did? Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. Uh, looks like just in Photoshop. Nice, better than I can do. Yeah. <laughs> Neat, yeah, again, more details. Let us know um, what you, I know you use Photoshop, but did you draw the whole thing or did you use stock images? What does that look like, right? And then finally, we'll take a look at this one. So Himalayas, trek with us to the mighty Himalayas, cool. Nice. It's a nice landing page. Oh, there's a little thing. Oh, that's cool, look at that. Go back, do it again. Wow, I like the, uh, what do you call that kind of thing? It's like a parallax effect. Yeah, parallax. Yeah. That was one of the, I don't know if this was part of the daily creative challenge, but one of them was to create like a parallax landing page for uh, travel applications. So this might've been for that. Awesome. Yeah. Here's a few different screens. Cool. Love it. <laughs> that is really cool. Nice. Just, yeah, so overall, I would definitely say, tell us more about some of these projects right. so clients and viewers might know what to think. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Awesome job. Next, we have Debbie, who is from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. <clears throat> She's a digital designer. And there's her website there. Lots of project views. Love it. Awesome. Here we go. We got some ah, information yeah. about Debbie. Epic Creative, Coles, Macy's. Oh, hey, she, uh, Kansas City, Kansas Community College. Hey, there you go. <laughs> right in your backyard. Cool. Oakland is Debbie. Park. In the chat, I don't see Debbie, but if you're here, Debbie, nice job cool. at filling out some of that stuff, but I would kind of expand down here. Uh, give a little bit of a bio. It doesn't have to be a massive bio, but definitely a little bit more than this. Um, and it gives you an opportunity to tell us a little bit more about what you did at, at Kohl's or uh, Macy's or wherever this, you know, wherever you worked. Let us know down at the bottom here. That's really cool. Yeah. All right, what should we check out first? Oh man. There's a lot. There is a lot. Uh, I'm kind of interested in, uh, in that, that's one kind of here. a cool picture, yeah. So this one, Enchantment in the Park website redesign. Ooh. Okay. All right. That's a cool logo. Yeah. Yeah. Really clean. Mm-hmm. Ooh. I like that brush up there. Nice little map, yeah. Yeah, this is a cool little transition. Down here as well. Community, yeah. Awesome job, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't see much to like, to like, uh, criticize or anything. Like, I mean, I think the layout's good. Hierarchy and typography is good. Yeah. Uh, the ideas are there. Yeah, you know, like it. I like it a lot. I like the. Like the the snow background uh, going on down there, like the you know the faded uh, layers and things like that. That's totally. pretty cool. Yeah. The only thing I would say is because this was kind of pitched as a redesign, I would love to see what the original looked like. Oh, that yeah, way true. we can compare it, right. and then maybe anything like if this is done for a client, maybe what their feedback was, why they wanted to redesign, what wasn't working about the previous one, and then what your goals were for the new one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Alex is asking, honest question, is it negative or positive to see that a designer has worked at one place for 10 years? I think it really, I don't know if it is it, negative or positive. Uh, I, I guess it sort of depends. Yeah. Uh, maybe on like what you did there or like maybe how you got promoted there over time or something. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, to me, I mean, I'd find working at a certain place for 10 years, I mean, that, that's kind of impressive to me. Yeah, I would definitely wouldn't say it's negative. Right. Um, I also wouldn't say, working at multiple places over the course of a few years is negative either because I know some amazing designers who, who don't really like a big you know corporate environment yeah. like Adobe for example and they just want to go from company to company and do new things right as long Get as your work yeah. yeah as long as your work really stands out and you do really 
cool, great stuff and you're easy to work with. I think it doesn't matter if you've worked at 17 places in four months, maybe, maybe it does, I don't know. Or one place in, for 20 years. Right. But I mean, I don't know. All right. I mean, Coco is always interesting, right? See. Oh, I, like, I haven't seen cool Coco yet. But it's I, I a good movie. To. Is it? I it's, heard you should get some tissues. Yeah. Uh, uh, the ending yeah. part. No, yeah. don't, don't, don't spoil it for me. <laughs> this is cute. The whole movie, though. I know. I'm not spoiling you. <laughs> this is, look, watch. Wait, wait, wait for it. Woo! Fancy. All right, so this was for Kohl's. I guess a Coco section at Kohl's. All right, that's nice. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, very modern. Yeah, nice. it's also very simple. Cool. Ooh, fancy. Kohl's is your fashion headquarters. I wonder oh. if that's a Kohl's sweater. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Yeah. I think that's what he wore in the movie, though. I think. Oh, okay. Maybe he bought it at Kohl's. In yeah, the movie. He maybe he bought it at Kohl's. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. Awesome. Same feedback. I would love to see more about the background behind this. Obviously, it's for Kohl's. I'm sure it was um, a project that Debbie did while she was at Kohl's. But anything else you can provide would be nice. Your progress. I know when you're working for a big company like this, maybe they don't want you showing some of the stuff. So you might be restricted to that. Mm -hmm. But anything else would be cool. Yeah. Nice job. Yeah. Let's do one more. What stands out to you? I kind of... I, I just saw the, these monsters. <laughs> and okay. That look in, interesting to me. <sighs> Better than okay. Well, do we want to look at that one? I don't know. I just thought the illustrations were cool. <laughs> it's called Better Than a Condom. I don't know what to expect when I'm clicking on this. I mean, it's probably nothing explicit. I but... hope not. Let's find <laughs> out. Oh man. Um, teen Pregnancy Prevention Initiative. Okay. Well. I mean, the posters look yeah. great. The design is good. I don't have much opinion on... <laughs> I like the fact that, um, you know, there's a lot of real world images in mm -hmm. here. So you can see the posters, yeah. you can see what it looks like on a computer. The illustrations are really fun. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> They're cool. Yeah, uh, let's do one more. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Let's see. I wonder what um, this, uh, that one right there. Chai Yum. Logo Explorations. Okay. Ah, I love looking at logos. Yeah. Infused Thai tea. Okay. Tool. All right. Okay. Oh, so these are very different Infused. logos, not for the same Chai thing. Design. Okay. So it's kind of telling you like why they, or like where they're created. I, I'm, I'm kind of interested in like what these companies would be for and like why you chose to maybe design it that way. Right. Because uh, right now we're just kind of looking at, at, at these cool pictures and we're like, oh wow, that's cool, but uh, we don't really know what we're looking at necessarily. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, the Nelson Atkins, yeah. That's a great museum in Kansas City. Oh, is it? In the plaza, yeah. Mm. Very upscale. Cool. Cool. Nice job. Yeah. Alrighty. Awesome. Thanks, awesome Debbie. Job. And thanks, uh, Karan, who submitted their portfolios. <laughs> if you didn't get yours reviewed, we'll be back next week with more Adobe Live. I won't be here, but other people will be here uh, next week and next Thursday. They mm -hmm. will review even more portfolios. So let's hop out back to your screen, see if we can, you know, freshen up a few things or okay. finish up and we'll wrap things up for the day. Yeah. Uh, so uh, one thing, how, how were the results of the poll? Oh, yes. Good question. Uh, so we have 44% for Fudu. Ah, okay. Well, let's do it. Well, let's, let's run call with it. Fudu. Let's see. I wonder if we want to like maybe maybe make it look a little nicer because that that just looks pretty generic to me. Yeah. So I wonder what we could do in in you know 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes just a fun font might. Like a yeah. scripted font, possibly. I can check how it would maybe look. Uh, let's see, design guidelines. I had like another, a secondary font I kind of liked mm -hmm. uh, that oh, I, okay. I, I thought I might implement somehow, maybe, yeah. and I kind of liked it. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and like copy that over. Um, so it's called Felicia. So we'll, we'll see how it looks. If you don't like it, you can just say bye, Felicia. <laughs> oh man. So the, there's like there's all caps. I tried. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> And then here is regular, but also you notice there's like uh, 
that. Oh, so there is, yeah. Here, I'm going to, hold on, let me get rid of the grid real quick. So I don't have to have it interfere. So I'm going to go ahead and, oh, okay, so you can't do alt left or right to change the kerning or tracking. Okay, so we'll change it right here. So let's see, that that's probably fine. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we want it to be maybe two words. How does that look? It doesn't look that great. What about a lowercase d? We can try that real quick. Let me see. So there's a dash, mm -hmm. and then we could also try lowercase. So like one word, foodoo. I kind of like that. It's almost like Google, where it's just a bunch of O's, O's like very, yeah. you know, over and over and over yeah. again. I kind of like that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. What else could we try? There's not much font variation with, with, with this typeface. Uh, did I, let me check if I tried any more. Okay, so I did try a few more stylized fonts uh, that we could maybe try. I mean, I do I do like that, that Felicia thing, but we'll see if we can find anything else in the short amount of time we have. Uh, maybe this, uh, how do you say that? Valencia script, we can try that out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just like make a copy, put it down here. Gan has an interesting point. Um, you don't want a food app to be named something with do in it. I mean, I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. But Well, too late now. Yeah. Uh, the the people have spoken. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, I, I, thought it was a, I thought it was a creative name. I don't remember who came up with it. I don't remember. I thought it was clever. Like, yeah. magically helps you find a place to eat. Yep. I like it. Um, Let's see, I'm not sure if I'm really feeling this font. No, I like the other one. Yeah. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just put that back. Here, there we go. So yeah, uh, obviously if I had more time, I would love to like play around with it in Illustrator or if someone else would come up with, would be able to come up with a logo, but unfortunately we don't have enough time. But uh, we'll see if we can like play around with maybe. Uh, first, I guess we'll make the logo a little bit bigger, mm -hmm. maybe closer up or closer together. I mean, I think that, you know, the layout looks okay. Yeah. Pretty good. And then, do I have this linked up? I don't. So let's dig in, should take you here. Let's do a transition to push. We want it to swipe this way, so that'd be pushing to the left. Yeah. So we could just check that out. Yep. And we can like kind of run through uh, what we have, so we can go here, let me link this up to there. And we don't really need a back button here, but maybe I guess we f if we want, we can go back here. And then we can just do, yeah, push right this time. This one would be like maybe a dissolve. Okay. So yeah, so you'd like select one of these, mm -hmm. check box, and here are your favorite foods that you've selected, right? So then you'd like, oh, I, I kind of want to go for an American uh, place to eat. So it will select that. We can do find somewhere. The result okay, was. Okay, here is what I found. Cool. Well, <laughs> we have that that creepy voice. You need to get rid of that voice. <laughs> it's creepy. Okay. <laughs> All right, but <laughs> let's see here. We have it linked up to take us. So like now we're like, hmm. Maybe I don't want McDonald's. Maybe I want a different kind of thing. Maybe I want to just try something totally out After there. After hearing random. that voice, I don't want McDonald's. Right. <laughs> okay. How about how how about some McDonald's? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we we uh, go to the the spin section here. Uh, we'll be like as if you're like spinning it with your finger. You'd like tap on the spin tab. It would spin. Oh, it didn't rotate enough. That's okay. Oh well. Uh, so the result was Chinese, and so we're like, hmm. Maybe I'll try a different place. So we'll just restart the spin, and it lands on pizza. We're like, oh, CC's Pizza sounds kind of good. How do mm -hmm. you get there? Okay, so I'm currently here, and it's a few blocks away, I see. It's not that far. So how exactly would I get there? So you click on that, and then you have a list of directions, of course. And then you're like, hmm, I don't know. And then... <laughs> You know, maybe maybe you want to try like to make a custom order or something. Like you're really indecisive, you can never make up your mind. So I'm gonna go ahead. Happens and, a lot. Yeah, kind of link up uh, real quick. So the nav bar here, section. That's section two. So we want section three, right? So we're gonna link this one up to here. 
All right, and then we'll continue where we were. So yeah, we were like, hmm, maybe not. Close that. We're like, let's try custom. So th this is like an icon of like, uh, of like you know, a pizza slice, but you're like putting it the anchovies to the side. Like, maybe it's an anchovy pizza, but you're like, eh, I don't really want anchovies on there. Something. No, I don't. Kind of customizing your order. Mm -hmm. I don't even know anyone who would like anchovies. I don't know. Um, it's worse than pineapple. <laughs> I can agree. Um, so yeah, you'd like click on the custom. You're like type of food. I want Italian food, maybe. Uh, type of place, maybe a restaurant. Uh, medium price range, three stars, at least five miles away. Let's find somewhere, okay? And we, we're seeing like a list of places. We're like, let's m maybe sort, see what we have here. So we can sort by rating, price, or distance. So let's sort by rating. And so five stars on top. And we're like, Sincetti sounds kind of good, maybe. Let's check that place out. Um, and, and I understand that that is not exactly consistent because like we specified uh, th at least three stars where mm -hmm. this is like a, a four or five star restaurant. So that wasn't exactly made consistent. That's okay. What can you do? Uh, so you're like, hmm, Sincetti's. And say you've already eaten there. You're like, I really like this place. I want to add it to my, my favorite places. So we'll just favorite it. And then we can go to uh, the map section just to check that out. And we uh, we're like top rated places nearby. That sounds interesting. And you see a list of top rated places, including Extreme Ironing and Val's Bane. He I just complimented you, and you just brought that up. <sighs> Let me go. Ruined ahead. it. Just close it real quick. <laughs> Let's go somewhere else. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> also, I realized that the text is a little small, so that that would be something we'd have to adjust. But we, mm -hmm. don't, we don't have the time, unfortunately. Yep. Do you plan on continuing to tweak this going forward, and then maybe like publish a Behance project? I will, I will definitely uh, try to work on it some more and, and try to, you know, incorporate more and make it a lot more... Like you annoyed Val again. <laughs> wow, she says. Wow, that's funny. Yep. But yeah, I, I plan on like working on this some more and maybe putting it on Behance. Cool. That could be a fun project. Yeah, definitely let us know and we'll, uh, you know, tweet it out there. Yeah. Awesome. Well... It's been a week. Yeah. It's... It has been. Should we what wrap things up? Do you have anything else to show us or plug or say? Any fine words of wisdom from Michael? Don't be a mean person. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> good words of wisdom. So yeah. <laughs> that will probably just about do it for this UI and UX week. We have a fantastic week. Uh, Kathleen was doing the amazing Photoshop daily creative challenges all week and last week. I'm gonna be doing the XD daily challenges Next week, oh. we had Jackie Ho, we had Daniel, don't remember his last name, sorry, <laughs> and Michael Crabtree. Great guests. Thank you yeah. for joining us. You have fun? I had a lot of fun, yeah. Nice. This is a great time. Where can people find you? Um, you mean in real life? I live, uh, let me give you my address real quick. <laughs> Let's not do that. <laughs> uh, you can you can find me on, on Behance. That's where I'm, I'm mostly um, active in things, but you know, I also have like a, uh, yeah, a Twitter, uh, at at the Kirby 309 if you want to if you want to follow me I don't really I'm not that active it's a mouthful it, yeah here like I can spell it real quick for you <laughs> let's see there you go okay that's that's my my Twitter plug there you I'm go I'm not very active on it so you maybe just you know I'll try to be more active though like if I if I gain some more followers I guess but cool but yeah <laughs> awesome this is a lot of fun yeah great great having you maybe we'll you'll be invited back. Don't spill water next time. And uh, eat pineapple on pizza. And we Always. will see you all next week. And there's a bunch of streams tomorrow as well. So don't miss those. And it's been fun. Yeah. I'll see you all later. All right. See ya.